Alright. We are back for some more IR3. And I did a little bit of work on my diamond setup here. I had messed up and put a fast inserter here. Um, so I wasn't getting the diamond dust back into the first one, which is the one that feeds it. Um, but we have made 130 diamonds. And also, I found gold. It's not a lot of it, but it is 1.1 mil, so that's more than what we found, I think, total so far, so not bad. I put in a rail line down through here, and uh, it's just mining away all the gold. So we now have uh, circuits being fabricated again. I did notice that we unlocked these two recipes for making basic circuits and advanced circuits. And it uses liquid nitrogen, which gives me back nitrogen, which I'm pretty sure we could put through uh, this, or no, that makes the, yeah, that makes the three things. We have to put it through, like, the opposite of that thing. I don't even know if there is an opposite of that thing. Is there a way of making just nitrogen? Or liquid nitrogen. Uh, liquid nitrogen. Okay, so we can do it in a cryogenic plant. We can turn the nitrogen back to liquid nitrogen if we wanted to. But the only reason I see to do these two is because it saves on crafting time. And as of right now... I really don't need to do that. Um, I think we're making plenty for what we're using. Uh, the only place we're really using a ton of them right now is for filling in the solar plant that I made up here, which looks like most of the dirt has finally gotten placed. There is a patch there that apparently I forgot to lay out. So there's that. All of that is there. So just got to wait on that to get done. And then I can finish that up. But today we are going to work on getting the ruby rods made for the pulse laser and then with that we can make the laser assembler and since we have the diamonds we're going to make the um, advanced crusher so I need to put these guys onto a uh, train so we're going to uh, just do, I want to do this, no, let's not do this. Um, we have this area up here, we can belt it up this far, because it's literally right next to the rubies. So we can just do, um, wrong way. I'm just do this. Yeah, that's plenty. And I think that's about where I need to go. Just need to make a hole. Why is there a train out of fuel? What fuel are you using? I'll deal with you in a minute. 
Oops, off by one. Okay. And turned on so I'll get this finished. And that this that then here there. Alright, so this is going to be our gem. Up. We'll get us a train, a car, um, we're not going to use the petroleum, you need those steam canisters, you don't need that. Uh, I really want to change these over as well. So we're going to go from uh, gem pickup, full cargo, then you're going to go to the power station, time passed. Ten seconds, and then you'll go to the other one. So let's just so I don't forget. Give you a battery, and give me a second. I'm gonna go figure out what's wrong with that train. Why it doesn't have fuel? I'll be right back. All right. So he's been taken care of. His issue was he had uh, empty batteries clogging up his thing. Now, this one is going from copper pickup to copper drop-off. So he's literally going from here to there. Um, and yeah, we have a steam thing here. So I may... Uh, let's see, yeah, there's very little petroleum in here, so, take that out, and get rid of that, we can run this back up, uh, this one is stone, so he's going up here. So I could have him go to the power station. I think I'll work on that later. But this guy, I just need to give him some more empty canisters. Mm -hmm. Where are those? There they are. So I'll just craft them up. I can't put them into the empty slot. Oh, apparently I can. Alright, so I can just put them there, and then when he gets over there, they'll fill with steam. And then once he uses that one, it'll go over there and it'll turn to steam. Okay. So that takes care of that. All right. Something I learned the other day. If I click on this, I can set it to a specific thing, like diamonds. And then I can copy it and paste it over. So that means that line will always have diamonds. I just middle click, select what I want, and then I can copy it over. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're just going to block that. 
because we shouldn't need more than that amount. So uh, that means I can then just put... Why do I not have any steel chests on me? I guess I'm not having steel chests brought to me. Well, that's a thing. Um, do I want to use an iron chest? Yeah, I'll just use an iron chest. Alright, so then I can just put one here. Get a blue loader. And then set another one up right there. Power down here. And then just in case we're going to set this to diamond, set that to ruby, nothing else should be able to get through there. But that'll be for those. And then they'll load in. So give me a minute. I'll get them both belted over here. And then we'll go set up the other end. All right. So I got the two things belted up. We do not have that much diamonds and rubies are literally never going to get finished. Um, well, they will eventually, but they're not going to get finished anytime soon. We have like, you know, eight or so coming in at a time. So we're going to go ahead and take off out of here. <clears throat> We're going to drive this up to where we need it. Bypassing the power station for now. I can throw a couple batteries in there if we need to. Alright, so we're going to stop here. And we're going to copy this out, place it there, that should take care of all the signaling. <clears throat> we can, though, get rid of all of this. We're not going to need all this. Change the name of this to Jim Drop Off. And just so it's easier for me to find in the list, we're going to change that to Diamond Symbol. <clears throat> we're going to do the same thing for this one. Change it to Oops. If I just close that, is it gonna unfuck up? It is gonna unfuck up. Good. There we go. That's all we want. Alright, so now we can set this one to the 
Now it's named Gem Pickup and Gem Pickup because I fucked it up. So this should be this one. And empty cargo. Go. <clears throat> okay, fix the name. And don't be stupid. Okay, so now we have gem drop off, gem pick up, power station, just what we need. So now we need this, that, um, no, we can't use these because we can't, oh, we can filter these. Okay. So if we do that, and switch it back, it's going to go to diamonds. Alright, so we can move the diamonds down here. We can set this filter to that. And there we go. We now have our diamonds and our rubies right down here. The train's going to go back to pick up more. And now we can work on getting the laser assembly made. We first need to make the pulse laser, or the ruby rod. And this is just a regular assembler with gold foil and a ruby. So let's get this we'll go ahead and add one for the diamond and then bring the ruby out we have gold down here so we can go ahead and do this and bring the gold this way And where are we going to assemble this at? <clears throat> well, I guess it depends on what we need. We need an advanced rotor unit and an advanced assembler. Okay. And our advanced assemblers are made... On second. Thinking. That's the electric plater. Um, advanced assembler. Okay, so it's made in here. <clears throat> the advanced rotors are right there. So if I put this here, I would just have to get these down there. Which I could honestly just change over this. Then I gotta get the rods into there. Why did I jam this in here? Because I didn't know I was gonna need to do this. Obviously. <laughs> so. The rods we can craft up here. That's not a problem. We can literally just put this here and put the um, glass steel circuit. We got the glass right there. So I'm thinking like this. We put that there. We put a assembler here that in there. This is going to be the foil. Then that will go into here. This will be for the laser. How do I get you from 
there to there. Hmm, I can do... And we can do a blue one. We literally do that. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking this idea. We we'll do that. We we'll do this. And we do that. And we only need this right here. So then we do this. We set this for the laser assembler. Then we grab one of these that will grab the loader unit that is literally right there. Alright. This looks like it's going to work well. We put in those. We're going to need this for the rubies. Alright. So now... Run the gold over. Ooh -hoo. Almost got me. They're frickin' trying today, man. That one, that one made my butt pucker. That one worried me for a second. Right, so there we go, we're now making our ruby rods. This is going in to make our lasers. Now we just need glass. We need steel plate, which we have right down here. So we can just do this. Uh, that's a little too far. We can do that. That'll give us... That's reinforced steel plate we need work. Um, we need there. Um... You know what? Let's just do this. Let's make... Oh, I already have one. Do I have a fast one? No. How much do I need for this? Oh, it is six plates. Yeah, we'll do a fast one. We'll just make one of these. And we'll put it... There, we'll set that for the steel plates. Get a little bit of power over here. And then we can just jump that. Okay, so I missed. There we go. That gets that. And we do this. And we do a little bit of that. Give you a little power. 
And there we go. We have made our first pulse laser. Alright. So then this we just need to bring down to somewhere down there. If I take this, move it over there, I can get rid of that, and I can have that come down here, and then we can do that. And then we can just copy this, rotate it around, set that for the laser assembler. That as the laser assembler. I am going to tell this that we only need like. I'm going to go with 10 at the moment. I don't see where we need more than that. Alright. And then we're going to be using those to make the graphene and the nano glass. And we'll do that in the next one. Now, to make the advanced crusher, we need diamond cutter, cutters, large steel frame motor, steel piston. So we can do that um, like anywhere on this line. You know, with the things here that I can't get to anymore. Um, hmm. On the cutter, we need these gears for. We have been setting this line up going this way. Could I put it here? Can I get everything in there I need? I need a motor. I need a frame. I need a piston. So I need that. That, that'll get yeah, that'll do everything but the cutter. And then the cutter we're going to make uh, probably up here. And then we can send it down into here. So we can literally make it like right over here. So the diamond cutter. Uh, There it is. It takes one diamond, two steel plates, and one brass gear. Okay, steel plates are down here. The brass gear we can bring in. Um, And that's done in a regular assembler. We can't do that in the little guy. <laughs> How do I want to get the plates to where I need to get it? That is the question. Don't mind me, I'm just thinking. As dangerous as that might be. Okay. I'm thinking that we're gonna do if I put
Yeah, I can literally just put it right there. Put the assembler here. Uh, no. Put the assembler here. Bring that out. Set that for the gear. Which means we need plate first. So that to that. Move this over. <coughs> that, that, this. There. Um, turn it up so we go up there so that can grab it. Put it into there, that would be that. <coughs> and I literally can just cut this, move it up to there, take that out, uh, throw the brass back in there because I don't need it. And then we don't need that, and that'll let a little less slip in. Then, if we do this and that, that'll get our plate in there. So then we just need to bring the diamond down here. Excuse me, this the brass train. Uh, we need to change this over to a red one. That'll get our diamonds down here. And we can move that. I can move this over just to the end. Nope, that didn't do it. We can move it up. There we go. That will take care of that. And yeah, you're just going to be a pain. So now we do that. Now we just need to get across this mess of crap. Shouldn't be too difficult. Take out all of that. Throw the ones I picked up in here from there. And you know what? We should have one of those. And there we go. We are now making Inmates Crusher. And we can just do this again, set this to the advanced crusher, again set this to like 10, we don't need that many made at one time, change the logistics filter, and there we go. So now, once those get me a decent amount of them made, I can come down here and change these. Because I do believe the Advanced Crusher should have uh, Crafting Speed 2.5 versus the regular, which is 1.25. So they'll run twice as fast. They'll consume more power, but um, I can upgrade any of those as I need, which currently I don't think I need to, but I'm quite sure at some point I might. 
and this thing just isn't getting the brass gears fast enough. Uh, these are the advanced ones, right? Oh, no, they're not. Well, here. Uh, apparently they are, and I'm just blind. But that's fast enough. I don't really need them any faster. Actually, it looks like this would be a good place for a stack inserter. Know that we need a stack inserter for this one? Well, I think that could be a regular one, to be honest. But we've run through all the diamonds, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, we're just waiting on more diamonds to be created. But that did give us 10 of them, and there's more sitting on the belt waiting, so that's good. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start the high octane fuel that's going to take a thousand of them to get done and amazingly does not take the purple one it doesn't take the chrome but we'll go ahead and get that researched so we have it when we need it um it's apparently not going to unlock anything so i guess we don't really need it that's mixing petroleum and ethanol together. So I think that's going to be it for today. And next time we will take out the uh, lasers over here for a spin and see if we can get um. Did my alarm? I think my alarm just went off. That my sulfur is full. Um, anyways, I'll check on that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.